In this video, we're going to look at how we can share our cursor and keyboard from our Mac with our iPad. We do this with universal control. Basically, what we're able to do is share our trackpad or our mouse and our keyboard from our Mac with our iPad. Or we can do the opposite. We can share our smart keyboard or our keyboard that's connected to our iPad with our Mac. Let's see how we do this on our Mac and iPad. Now, first thing is, is there are a few requirements for this to work. First of all, you have to be signed in with the same iCloud account on all the devices. I have a Mac and an iPad here. So when I go to my Mac here, and we go over to my system preferences, you're going to see that I'm signed in with Johnny Appleseed. And then also when I go to my iPad here, I'm signed in with Johnny Appleseed. So we have to be signed in with the same account on all of our different devices. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we're using at least with iPad, at least iPad OS 15.4. So when I go to general here, and then we go to about, you're going to see I'm using iPad OS 15.4. And on the Mac, we need to be using at least Mac OS Monterey 12.3. So when I go to about this Mac here, you're going to see I'm using 12.3. So those are the requirements to get this to work. Also, you may need to have a newer iPad. It probably will not work on an iPad that is a little bit older. I'm using an iPad Pro here, and it works great on this. I believe it'll work with any of the newer iPads. So those are the requirements. Now, what is this? What can we do with it? Well, basically what we're able to do is share our cursor with these different devices. So I have my cursor here on my Mac. Watch what happens when I go over to the left edge. Watch the iPad. I'm just going to move my cursor here. I'm on my Mac. I'm moving my cursor here to the left edge and then watch what happened. It moves over to my iPad. So now I'm able to control my iPad with the cursor or the trackpad from my Mac. If I were to start typing, let's go ahead and open up notes here. If I were to start typing here on my Mac, it starts typing on my iPad. I can also drag and drop. I want this image here on my Mac. So all I have to do is just drag this over to my Mac. You're going to see it drags it over to the Mac. I let go. It now just added it to my desktop here. I can drag text out of Safari from my iPad over to my Mac. I can drag text out of Safari on my Mac over to my iPad. Now this is not a second display. When we go back over to my iPad here, you're going to see I am still using iPad OS. This is not a second display. All I am doing is sharing my cursor and my keyboard from my Mac to my iPad. So now I can sit there on one device and control both of them, all in their respective OS versions. So on my Mac, I'm using Mac OS. On my iPad, I'm using iPad OS. So that's what universal control is. It gives us the ability to share a keyboard and trackpad or a keyboard and mouse with multiple devices. Now, how do we set this up? Well, basically what we need to do is we need to go to our system preferences on our Mac. So I'm going to go to my system preferences here. We just go up to the Apple and then we go over to our system preferences. Now what we need to do is we need to go to displays. This is where it is set up on the Mac, under Displays. I select it, and you're going to see Universal Control. Now, this is in beta, so things may change here. But basically, you just click on this, and then you go through and check these. The first one here is to turn it on. So we need to check the first one to turn it on. The second one allows us to push to the edge. So when I push my cursor over to the edge, it goes over into the other device. In my case, it goes to my iPad. But it could go to another Mac, as an example. And then we can automatically reconnect once it is disconnected. So I like to have all three of these selected. So that's how we set it up on the Mac. Now on the iPad, it's in a little different area. It's in the Settings app, so I'm going to go over to the Settings app on my iPad here. And then we go over to General. Under General, we need to go to AirPlay and Handoff. This is where we turn it on. You're going to see cursor and keyboard beta. Again, it is in beta. Now all I have to do is just turn this on. And once I turn that on, what I'm able to do is share my keyboard and trackpad. So now I go back over to my Mac and 
I can go use my cursor on my iPad. I bring it over to the edge. I'm back on my Mac. We can also do the opposite. I'm on my iPad Pro. I have a smart keyboard. So we have a trackpad and keyboard on my iPad. So when I move this around, I'm now using my iPad's keyboard and trackpad, my smart keyboard on the iPad. But watch what happens when I go over to the right edge. It goes over to my Mac. So I'm controlling my Mac with the keyboard from my iPad. Now right now with my setup here, what I have to do is I have to go to the left edge on my Mac and then it goes over to my iPad. Well, let's say that my iPad was on the right side of my Mac. I want to have it when I'm on the right edge of my Mac, it goes over to the iPad. How do we set that up? Well, basically we go back over to our displays on the Mac. So I'm going to go to my system preferences here again. And then what we do is we go over to displays. And then once we're in displays, you're going to see I have my iPad here. And then I have my Mac. You're going to see it has another display behind it. That's the mirroring that I'm using for recording this. So you can just ignore that. Just think of this as my Mac, my MacBook Air, and my iPad. Now, right now, my iPad is on the left side. This is why I have to go to the left edge. Let's say my iPad was on the right side. All I have to do is just drag this over to the right side. And now watch what happens. I move my cursor over to the right edge here. And we can see it moved over to my iPad. I move my cursor back over to the left edge. It goes back into my Mac. So we can reposition where our iPad is just by going to our display system preferences. So that's universal control. Basically with universal control, what we're able to do is share a cursor, either it could be a trackpad or a mouse, as well as our keyboard with other devices. It could be with another Mac, but I believe in most cases the way that this would work is with an iPad like what I have set up here. So now what you're able to do is use your Mac's keyboard, your Mac's trackpad, or your Mac's mouse on your iPad. Again, you need to be signed in with the same iCloud account to make this work. And you need to have at least Mac OS Monterey 12.3 and iPad OS 15.4. To turn it on, you go to System Preferences on the Mac, you go to Display, and then you're going to see Universal Control. Just turn all the options on, and then on the iPad, you go into the Settings app, you go to AirPlay and Handoff, and you turn it on there. It is in beta, so some of these features may change. But once you turn it on, you just move your cursor over to the edge, and it'll move over from one device to another. You can go into the Display Settings or the Display System Preferences to position where your other devices are. In my case, I repositioned where my iPad was. So that's how we share our cursor and keyboard with universal control on the Mac.